The Minister of Cooperatives and SMEs, Tatan Masduki, continues to encourage SMEs to enter digital platforms through marketplace and e-commerce. It aims to increase the existence of SMEs in the midst of pandemic. The current pandemic has caused SMEs to experience a decline in demand, which has impacted on the decline in SMEs turnover. To keep the hopes of SMEs afloat, the Minister of Cooperatives and SMEs, Tatan Masduki, continues to encourage SMEs to enter digital platforms through marketplaces and e-commerce. This is seen as able to increase the existence of SMEs in the face of a pandemic. Tatan said e-commerce transactions during the first quarter of 2021 reached 548 million with a value of 88 trillion rupiah. No wonder the government is still focused on increasing SMEs entering the digital platform by as many as 30 million businesses in 2024, as well as improving the structure of the national economy with the contribution of SMEs to GDP of 57% and absorbing 96% of the workforce. Jadi peningkatan transaksi uh, di e-commerce itu tadi ya uh, dari 2019 sampai 2020 secara year on year meningkat 29,6 persen ya, di kuartal 1 dan di kuartal 1 2021 BI juga mencatat tadi transaksi e-commerce mencapai 548 juta dengan nilai 88 triliun. Jadi masing-masing meningkat 99 persen dan 52 persen secara year on year. Saya kira ini cukup. To boost the development of MSMEs, the ministry continues to assist SMEs in developing online learning media. Moreover, the government has also compiled a roadmap for digitizing SMEs with a target for digital SMEs in stages from this year's 13.5 million to 30 million in 2024. Jakarta Idea Financial for Ideax Channel.